There you go, guys. Last fish of the night. I promised a doggy and I got you one. Yeah, not a bad size actually. Hey guys, Essex Foraging and Fishing, I'm Joe. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to prepare a dogfish. So let's get cracking. Okay, to start off, pretty much all you need, chopping board, got two sharp knives here, and some pliers. So obviously we need the sharp knife to get through this really rough, abrasive skin. Um, I've got a little one just for little niggly bits that we need to get through. And obviously these is when you grab the skin and you pull it all off. It's quite an easy process if you have the right equipment. But we're going to get started now. Get them off. Let's get the doggy out. So here is the dogfish that we caught the other night. The legal size for dogfish is, if I'm correct, 38 centimetres, which is about there. This went up to 63. So I don't usually take dogfish home, but um, I thought I will prepare this and show you how it's done correctly. There's a few ways you can do it, but this is the way that I do it. So th this is these dogfish, they're known for a pest in our waters. So we're going to prep it all up. In case you guys, you know, you're, you're sick of catching them, you thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. And uh, yeah, hopefully this video shows you how it should be done correctly. Okay, so to start off, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking off the fins. One, two, we've got some fins here, up here, and a couple down here as well. So we're going to take those fins off with a sharp knife. Okay, so the fins are off. So what I wanted to do now, <clears throat> some people might do this differently, is I like to score it. Just down there. Just to release these belly sides out. Because I want to trim these bellies up, because there's no meat in these bellies. So I'm going to trim them all up here, and then I can start peeling back this lovely rough skin that it's got. But first I'm going to give it a bit of a wash, it's still a little bit bloody. Okay, so we're going to trim off these little belly bits here. Right, so I'll cut down here as well. So basically I want to make a nice little V-shape in here. Against this really, really tough skin. You really need sharp knives for this. Don't really want to go into the meat too much. Just a little nick. Just like that. And then basically in the head here, you just want to try and nick back just a little bit of that skin. Nick it just a little bit back. So then with this, you can get a good hold with these pliers to start pulling it back. Right, so now I've come pretty much halfway of the fish. Half is done, the other half isn't. I'm gonna get the underside of the fish, just make a little insertion through the skin, which will make it a little bit easier to pull off this last little bit. Nice little insertion there. Again guys, always make sure your knife is sharp. Otherwise it ain't going through this. Right. Make it back just a little bit. Like you did with the head. Try not to go through the flesh. You want to get a good hold of these, of this skin. All right, got a little bit there. Try and grab it back. Stand clear, because you need a good hold of this. Oh, 
so slippery. There we go. Slowly coming. Just a little bit more. Right. So I don't necessarily need this tail bit, so I'll be cutting that off. And there you have it. So I'm going to fillet these now. And I'll show you two ways of how I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut it in half, and then fill it down this. And then half in here, I'll be filling it down the sideways into two fillets. So that is our next job. So in half we go. I'm going to say roughly around about here. So that's the tail end. What I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be following this backbone all the way to the head. I can get two fillets off here, one off here and one off the other side. So that's what we'll do now. First I need to sharpen my knife. That sandpaper has proper blunt my knife. <laughs> Okay, knife is now sharp. So, get them two fillets off. Should run straight down that backbone. I say a backbone, it's more of a middle bone really. Just working, just working around this bone that's right in here. So basically it folded up, so the bone is in the middle of the fish. Just gotta work around it. Nice, gentle, slow strokes. Behind the bone, and then slice down. There you have a dogfish fillet. One out of four. We do exactly the same to the other side. As you can see, the bit the the backbone is in the middle, so we need to groove around it. You can see I've already started in there. Get on the other side of that, of that backbone. Exposing all the meat. Going nice and slowly along that backbone. And getting off a nice clean fillet. clean fruit beautiful so that is one half of the dogfish done two fillets one two and a nice clean backbone so we'll get rid of that into my bowl of rubbish now we are going on to the tail part of the dogfish. So with this part, if you can see that little center circular circle right there, there's two bits of meat. You can see one on there and one on there. So I'm gonna get my knife in between these, running it right across both sides. And we've got two skinny fillets, obviously it's the tail, so there's not much meat on there, but there is a dish I could do with this. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. So what you do, you meet halfway to the bone, where it is, you can see my knife there. So this bit is what I'm filleting off. Get a nice hand on there and slowly start just taking your knife, going across the backbone, nice and slowly, away from yourself. And that is a fillet. Done. We do it same to the other side. Same again, 
just passing your bone right along that backbone. And that is it, it's another fillet with the backbone still intact. Now we see these little bits here on the side. I am going to rush down that. I wouldn't usually, but for the dish I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using these bits, so I'm not wasting any of it. And as you can probably tell, it won't be fillet style. So take that off. Go following the bone all the way down. So we have no wastage at all. Done. And there you have it. Got the backbone, got the two sides off that backbone, and we've got two fillets. So, this backbone we do not need. That can go in the rubbish. Right, that's it. We've got two fillets here off the head of the fish, two fillets here off the tail of the fish, and the sides of the tail as well. That's pretty much how I've prepared a dogfish. That is how I've been taught how to do it. So I'm hoping you've learned some pointers there. So that was uh, an easy way on how to prepare a dogfish. There's a lot, so like I said, there is a lot of different ways, but that's how I found it. That's how I've been taught. The hardest part of that is skinning the fish. So you need a proper grip of that, the dogfish, and you need to pull that skin back as hard as you can, because that is, that's not easy. But apart from that, the rest of the preparation of the fish is pretty simple. What I didn't show you at the start of the video is obviously I took the cavity, the, the main bits out of the fish, which was underneath the fish. So I just got one from his anal cavity and I put it up to the head and just took everything out. So it all bled out and stuff like that. So there was no ammonia and stuff of what the, the fish can catch from the blood. Apart from that, um, that's about it. Um, I will be doing a live catch and cook with uh, this dogfish, but I thought I'd do a little how-to video on how to prepare the dogfish. So I'll, I'll put the link in this video right here or somewhere um, regarding that video of, and um, hopefully you can watch it if it interests you. Yeah, and that's about it. Thanks for watching a little short video on how to prepare a dogfish. I will see you all soon. Take care. If you haven't liked it, like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care guys, bye bye.